Hey guys, today um, or right now, I want to speak about a fascinating human being um, and I'm just trying to make a lesson out of it. So we'll talk, we'll cover the vocabulary relating to, uh, related to peace and peace building. Yeah. So he was an amazing, a wonderful person, unique. Hmm? I'm talking of Georgi Vanyan. Uh, he was a peace builder. Yeah. If you do not know the word, yeah, let's have some sh simple vocabulary. To build, to build is to make or to construct construct or to make yeah peace well the word peace i think is known to everyone peace is like no war yes when there is no war it's peace so to build peace to construct to create peace huh Peace building, yeah. Peace dash building. So this word, <coughs> let me do it this way, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this word is written with a dash or together. Peace building. To build is to make or to construct. So peace building is to, to creation, construction of peace. Yeah. Well, actually peace uh, should be made because in some places, in South Caucasus, for example, we do not have peace. So peace um, needs to be made. Huh? We need to build or make peace. So Georgi Vanyan was one of those rare individuals, rare is unique, huh? unique, it's, it's not common, yeah, it's rare. He was one of those rare individuals who was dedicated to the idea of peace building in South Caucasus. We have war between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Yes, these are two South Caucasus countries. And there is one region between Armenia and Azerbaijan. It's Nagorno-Karabakh. Let's say it's Nagorno-Karabakh. Yes. So for 70 years, Nagorno-Karabakh was a part of Azerbaijan for about 70 years. And then Armenia took it, and now it is de jure, de jure officially, yes? De, it's a Latin word. De jure is officially. So de jure, Nagorno-Karabakh is uh, part of... Nagorno-Karabakh is independent, de jure, officially. Yeah, let me show you these words as well. So, rare is unique, hmm? not common. De jure, officially, yes? Officially, Nagorno-Karabakh is independent. However, de facto, de facto means in reality. Huh? De facto, de facto, Nagorno-Karabakh is in reality. Well, de facto, Nagorno-Karabakh depends on Armenia, yes? For 30 years, Nagorno-Karabakh was um, Armenian. So, yeah, de facto, yes? This is an O. De facto, 
and de jure, officially, according to papers, huh? in papers, officially de jure, in reality, how it is, de facto, according to the facts, yes? So, de facto, Nagorno-Karabakh was part of Armenia, and a lot of Armenian soldiers and people of Armenian origin, uh, Armenians from diaspora, uh, fought for uh, Nagorno-Karabakh. Huh? Fought is the past of fight. To fight, uh, to make a fight, to fight. Right, in the past it becomes FOUGHT, F-O-U-G-H-T, FOUGHT, yes, so they fought, Armenians from Armenia fought for Nagorno-Karabakh, and interestingly, for 30 years, Armenia, the Republic of Armenia itself, did not recognize the independence of Nagorno-Karabakh. So no one actually recognized the independence of Nagorno-Karabakh. And so uh, it was not really an independent country. Even the Republic of Armenia admitted, accepted. Uh, to admit is to accept. To admit is to accept. To accept to say yes yes so even the Republic of Armenia admitted that Nagorno-Karabakh was not really independent yeah or else we would accept uh, the independence of Nagorno-Karabakh we would recognize to recognize is to accept huh? again we would recognize Nagorno-Karabakh as an independent country okay independent it's like it's not part of any uh, other country for example state of california is not an independent state officially california is part of the usa the united states of america yes it has its uh, independence to some extent but it it's not 100% independent yes Joe Biden for instance is the president not only of Washington but also of California of Texas etc mm -hmm. oh by the way etc etc again it's Latin etc okay I'm writing in that's why it's not X etc hmm it's not etc. It's etc. Let me write it down for you. It in Latin, I think they would say et cetera. Et cetera. Et cetera. E T C. Okay. Let me show you this vocab as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So to admit, it's an A to admit. Is to accept uh, to admit is to accept also to recognize I didn't write it to recognize to accept yeah mm -hmm. so to fight the past is fought we fought Armenians and Azerbaijanis fought for Karabakh for Nagorno Karabakh etc etc in Latin so it etc. That's why etc. And that's why it's not x etc. It's etc. etc. et. et Alright. Yeah, and then we have all of this in de facto and the jure. Alright. So um, in both countries, in both Armenia and Azerbaijan, we have a lot of issues also with hatred with racism huh? a lot of Armenians hate Azerbaijanis and a lot of Azerbaijanis hate Armenians yeah Georgi was one of those unique individuals who spoke of a civil lifestyle yeah civilized lifestyle of the importance of civil society real civil society 
independent mm, who uh, who live and act as citizens yeah for the word act to act to act or act both are okay here's a more difficult word to behave to behave to act so Georgi uh, talked about the importance of behaving or acting as good human beings of not hating but loving and of living consciously uh, with your mind consciously um, I knew Georgi um, he created a very beautiful project called Tekali process so Tekali process is it's it's it was a fantastic like a really fantastic initiative Tekali process Tekali is a small village in the Republic of Georgia so South Caucasus has three republics Georgia Armenia and Azerbaijan right so <clears throat> because Armenia and Azerbaijan were fighting against each other Georgia was a good place to, uh, for activism hmm? for both countries for both Armenia and Azerbaijan so <clears throat> we would go to Tekali and we would have different initiatives events uh, there was a speech uh, talking speech contest or competition and I participated in that speech competition and I won um, one of the prizes in that speech competition <clears throat> so unfortunately a lot of Armenians hated Georgi Vanyan he was attacked physically they hit him they uh, spoke very badly of him in the Republic of Armenia before 2018 prior to prior to is before yeah? prior to equals to before yeah? prior to uh, 2018 um, Armenia was governed by uh, to govern to rule to govern to rule Armenia was governed by or Armenia was ruled by the Republicans the Republicans of Armenia are very similar to the Republicans of the USA huh? uh, they resemble each other very much to resemble to resemble <clears throat> to be like huh to be like someone or to be similar similar to someone or something yes so the Republicans of Armenia were very similar to the Republicans of the USA nationalist racist hateful so they had uh, campaigns against Georgi Vanyan a lot of people would write bad things they would speak bad things they would attack Georgi physically and uh, channels like TV channels would show very negative very bad movies about Georgi um, so his life was very hard it was very tough tough hard yes tough t-o-u-g-h is hard yeah let me show you this vocabulary as well <clears throat> yeah. okay yes so 
to act, to behave. Yeah, you act in a good way, you behave in a good way. So the name of the initiative was Tekali Process. Tekali is a small village in the Republic of Georgia. Prior to, before, prior to the revolution in 2018, or before the revolution in, in or of 2018, yeah? Then we have to govern, to govern, to rule, yes? Armenia was governed by the republicans. To resemble, to be like, or to be similar to. You resemble your father. You are or you look like your father. Huh? And tough, T-O-U-G-H, T-O-U-G-H, tough, F, we hear F, tough, hard, yes? So, <clears throat> life was tough for Georgi, F, tough, F, yeah? You write G-H, but you hear F. So, for Georgi, life was very tough in the Republic of Armenia very very tough he has very <clears throat> sad stories about about his persecution mm? to persecute is like to attack uh, to act against someone all the time yes it's to persecute for example Mikhail Navalny I think his name is Mikhail Navalny I'm not sure of the name, is persecuted in Russia. Putin persecutes Navalny, yes? Or uh, the Republicans uh, and the Dashnaks, these are nationalists in the Republic of Armenia, persecuted Georgi, yes? So, yes, to persecute and persecution. If you are persecuted, it's an act of persecution. Also, unfortunately, sadly, uh, in the Republic of Georgia, we had like similar problems under Ivanishvili's uh, oligarch government, which is also nationalist, homophobic and hateful. Um, Tekali process was shut down. It was brought down. It was shut down. They destroyed it. Uh, in the Republic of Georgia also. So the Russian style KGB works in Armenia, in Georgia, and in Azerbaijan, and in all those three republics, Georgi was persecuted a lot. They arrested, there is a man called Mushvik, Mushvik Namazov from Tekali, from that village. He has a house, and he gave his house, uh, not his house, he has a house and some land, yeah, let me draw it. So, in the village of Tekali, Mushvik Namazov has a little uh, house and a land, and he gave his land, okay, let me try to make some land, maybe with a tree, so Mushvik said, you are welcome, yes, you are welcome, you can come to Tekali and do your activities. <clears throat> so this is Mushvik, and this is his house, and this is his land, oh, with some trees, some mountains behind, yes. Yeah. So Mushvik told, you are welcome. He's Azerbaijani, and he said Armenians and Azerbaijanis and Georgians are welcome. Come to Tekali um, <clears throat> for peace building. Yes. So the uh, Georgian government arrested. They took Mushvik. So for eight years, for eight years, Mushvik Navazov <sighs> is going to be in prison if they do not. Uh, take him out and his son also he was arrested for two years the Georgian um, national security officials it's like policemen yes 
they came to Mushvik's house, they beat Mushvik and they beat the son of Mushvik. Mm, so it was very tough, very tough, both for Georgi, Georgi and for uh, other people. So Georgi, actually in English it's George. Yeah, it's George, but in Armenia, in Georgia, this name is uh, pronounced as uh, Georgi, yes, Georgi in Russian or Georgi in uh, Georgian, yes. So uh, he lived in poverty, yes. Georgi, his life was very poor and um, he didn't have money, it means he lived in poverty, yeah, he didn't have money. And he didn't have a job because he was persecuted. Uh, he bought a car, yes, to buy now, and the past is bought. Yeah? To buy, the past is bought. He bought a car and uh, he became a driver he became a taxi driver so he called his taxi peace taxi for <clears throat> uh, several a few years maybe three or four years so a few years Georgi uh, drove a taxi yes uh, they called it peace taxi to drive the past will be drove drove Celine Dion has a beautiful song I drove all night I drove all night to get to you <laughs> Is that all right? I drove all night. I drove all night. Well, let's just write CD, like for Celine Dion. Yeah? So let's have a look at this as well. So to buy boat. Georgi bought a car and he named uh, it uh, he created a taxi service. He called it Peace Taxi. Yes. So Georgi was a real peacemaker, peace builder. Yes. He even created a taxi service and he called it Peace Taxi. This was a real peace builder. So to drive. The past is drove. Georgi drove a uh, taxi for several years years yeah and so Celine Dion sorry <laughs> Celine Dion CD yeah it stands for Celine Dion has a song called I drove all night ah, it's a beautiful song mm, what else can I say about Georgi he died of COVID yes he died because of coronavirus he died in the Republic of Georgia. He went to Georgia to give uh, an interview, but also he went to Georgia, go, went. Uh, I go, I went. So he went to uh, Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, to try to help uh, Mushvik Namazov. Yes, he tried to help Mushvik. Also, this is why he went to Tbilisi. He tried to meet with the advocates of Mushvik, and he couldn't. Mm, he wrote to me. He wrote to me that the advocates of Mushvik uh, work for the police, not for Mushvik. Yes. So Georgi thought. Yes, to think. To think. The past is thought. Thought. Georgi th 
thought that the advocates or attorneys, or let's say advocates of Mushvik uh, Namazov, were not independent. Hmm? They worked for the police, not for Mushvik. Yes? So he tried to meet with the advocates. But Georgi said, he wrote to me, that the advocates of Mushvik Namazov were afraid of him and they tried to avoid him, to avoid um, to escape, try not to meet, yes, to avoid, to uh, run away, yeah, try not to see, try not to see or meet, huh? So this is why Georgi went to Tbilisi, he tried to help his good friend and a good citizen, a good human being, Mushvik Namazov, who is arrested in the Republic of Georgia. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at those words as well. <clears throat> to think, thought, he thought, yeah, to avoid, to run away, try not to see. Try not to meet, yes, to avoid. So, in the end, I will just say uh, R-I-P. Yeah, let's learn this as well. R-I-O. They have this... Uh, okay, I'll just make a picture so that it's easy. R-I-P, yes. So, <clears throat> when someone dies, uh, someone is dead, uh, <clears throat> we say R.I.P. So, you can see uh, in the grave where people are dead, you can see this R.I.P. which <clears throat> stands for, let me write it for you, R.I.P. is rest. In yeah. peace, yeah. So R I P rest in peace. Yes. So when someone <coughs> is dead, someone dies. We we say rest in peace. R I P. Mm -hmm. So, dear Georgi, rest in peace. I am happy that I knew you. I'm happy I uh, saw Tekali. Yeah? See, to see, so in the past. I'm happy that I saw Tekali process and I was part of Tekali movement. Thank you for everything. <clears throat> Thank you for being a great human being not a nationalist, not stupid, not a small-minded, yes? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, rest in peace. And a minute of silence for Georgi, okay? <clears throat>